You're going to have physicians, you're going to have uh, study nurses, you're going to have other staff who are doing this work every day. And there's a benefit to that. There's a benefit of being able to come in, let's say, for one clinical trial, but you have, you may have another issue that may come up in, a, in the process of working through a clinical trial or being a part of a clinical trial that uh, where you have the benefit of talking to medical professionals who have been doing this work for years and can help you not only through the clinical trial questions, um, but other medical uh, questions that may come up, concerns that may come up. So you're really getting dual care and you don't even know it. Um, you're not necessarily coming in and just getting a blood draw, um, but you have the opportunity to find out what's going on now in HIV research. What do I need to know about? You're at the forefront of medicine. You're at the forefront of research. What should I know? What should I be reading? How will this impact me? If I'm an African-American, does that impact me differently than a Latino? If, how does uh, this work differently between men and women? Um, if that information is available, there are experts on the team who can address those questions um, that will make you feel more comfortable. You will have the support if needed in any capacity, we, meaning you have a whole group of nurses. You'll have me that will harass you and pester you if you don't come in. And you'll have a physician that will have the time to sit there and answer as many questions as you have. And you're also benefiting people that were behind you. You are in control. You control the extent of your involvement in the trial. You control um, the types of trial you, trials you want to be engaged in. You control the questions that you want to ask to the doctors, to the outreach personnel, to the administrators, to the lab techs. You have the ability to drive the car. You are the one in control. We have the drugs now that when taken as prescribed will result in essentially an 80 percent normal life expectancy. That's pretty amazing. I, I would want to say have trust in us but don't just take my word for it or take our word for it. Let us show you what we can do. We're looking at now an entirely different perspective in terms of life, in terms of um, people knowing that they have a future simply by getting care and being adherent to their medications. Um, part of that process uh, is that all of these medications, all of the uh, information that researchers and scientists have is because they've engaged the community, that they've engaged uh, with individuals who are willing to take part in um, the evolution of not only AIDS, not only HIV, um, but in uh, making sure that people have healthy outcomes. And I think at the end of the day, that's what we want.